Think Hallmark Real Estate. Hello, I am here with... Trisha Hermson with Tree of Frog Treats. And Trisha, what exactly is Tree of Frog Treats? So Tree of Frog Treats is a freeze-dried candy company. Um, we specialize in all of your favorite candies, Skittles, Airheads, all of that kind of stuff. And basically what it does is we put it in our freeze dryer and then it pulls a vacuum on it and hot air circulates around it. it makes it crunchy, airy, and light. Um, so all your candies that would normally be really chewy, like such as taffy, turn into, they just melt in your mouth. It's, it's an awesome experience. So I'm curious, how did you come up with this idea? I started canning and um, was on a Facebook group with uh, like different preservation methods because I always forget my celery in the fridge. It literally started like that. And I bought a freeze dryer. And then once we realized that we can sell candy in the state of Wisconsin, um, moved to that because it's the TikTok thing, right? It's all over the place. YouTube, TikTok, kids love it. People want to try it. So we thought, why not give it a try? Um, we had done craft fairs previously with our other business and thought we needed something different. So hence, Bart the bus. Um, and we drive around and get to go to these shows and just have a blast doing it. My husband and daughter and friend helped me um, with the shows and begging. So we get to spend a lot of time together as well, which is a total benefit to us. So how long have you been doing this? So we actually opened doors on the candy January 17th. So just a few months. As of right now, we have about 50 plus events in the Valley booked uh, for this summer and we're adding more every week. How did you come up with the name? Trio was my nickname in high school. Um, a friend gave it to me. And ever since I was a little girl, I've been obsessed with frogs um, and toads. And I, I actually have some as pets as well. And um, so it was just kind of natural to do tree of frog treats and it's a little bit memorable. And there's also another tie-in with frogs because you give back to an organization. Yes, there's a couple tie-ins. Um, one of them is last year, we actually reclaimed a wetland on our property um, and dug a pond for the frogs. And then we fenced it in and right now we're in the process of growing all the natural habitat around it. I'm really passionate about giving back to our community and um, nature. so. One of the benefits of having Tree of Frog Treats out in the boat in the community is we ask instead of tips, we ask for donations for Save the Frogs organization, and uh, which is a great organization that educates all around the world. They're a huge organization, nonprofit. Um, so we get donations for them and we send it into them. Pulling for Honor, we give back 15% um, to that organization. Um, we're also doing Oktoberfest, which I'm super excited about. We partnered with Safe Haven uh, Pet Sanctuary out of Green Bay. Um, and so we'll be splitting profits with them um, to go to their organization as well and then um, we also have uh, we do school events so schools can hire us and then we give a portion of our proceeds back to them as well. Are you hireable for other private events? And Absolutely yes we're doing corporate luncheons um, at Fleet Forum this year we're doing um, signing up for some uh, of the other I will say corporate events um, that businesses hire us for. We always market that we're not an exclusive entree truck. We pair with an entree truck uh, to ensure that people get lunches sure. um, and then they can get their candy. So yeah, we are, are hireable for birthday parties, grad parties, kind of whatever event, grand openings, there's a lot of that, ribbon cutting, um, really whatever um, people want to have the trucks at. So um, what is your most uh, popular product that you so. Our number one seller is our sampler pack. It has 12 different candies in it. So you get to try a little bit of everything before you commit to that one or two or three different candies that you really enjoy. Um, but then after that, our regular Skittles. Um, it's it, Everybody kind of sees that on the social media. So they're like, oh, we got to try that. So that is definitely a hot, hot one for us. Um, can you customize any orders? We absolutely can. So we're actually working on a couple different lines right now. Um, so there's been some requests. We do the Chamoyan Tahine, which is a big social media Skittles thing. Um, but we can also do, you know, Jolly Ranchers with those flavors on it. Um, peach rings are another popular one where people order and then in the next few weeks, we'll be actually um, launching a new line, um, which I'm going to keep under wraps for now. You'll have to follow us on Facebook to find out, but um, it's super exciting. So all of those flavors will be as available as well to put on any of our candies. So one other question that I have, or, you know, you mentioned that you are going to be, you got a permit to... <laughs> 
I, I yes. read something on social media. So why don't yes. you go ahead and share a little bit about what's sure. going on here. And I'm kind of excited because it's coming to my neighborhood. I am super excited about this. So you've heard of the ice cream truck and that drives around and, and plays the music. Well, we're gonna have the freeze dried food truck that can drive around your neighborhood and uh, dispense candy basically. Um, I'll have my daughter helping me throughout the, the summer there. But yeah, we're super excited for that. It was actually requested a few times, hey, can you come into our neighborhood? We would love that. And I said, let me check on that. And uh, yeah, so we, we're permitted and able to do that. So we're kind of just waiting for school to end and uh, we'll be out in the, in the village of Greenville neighborhoods. Super excited because like I said, it's coming to my neighborhood, <laughs> so be a little jealous. So um, I guess just watch for Trey of Frog traits out and about this summer and beyond, it sounds like. Um, and I'm excited because once again, they're coming to my neighborhood. <laughs> so for those that live in the village of Greenville, um, watch for them coming through your neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you very much.